Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. How would you like a piece of sound advice for today? That would always be useful, wouldn't it? Well, here's something. It appears in a letter that St. Peter wrote when he was encouraging the new church. And he was writing to some church elders and saying, consider, the, think of these things. Be, a, be aware of what's going on around you. And in the midst of all the things that he was saying, he says this simple little verse. He says, be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Well, it's very expressive, isn't it? The devil will prowl around like a roaring lion. We can, we can picture that, can't we? We would be scared if a lion came charging towards us, roaring and growling. It would uh, the king of beasts, who would be very scared, scared scary and fearsome and we would probably run a mile if we could get that far anyway the the point peter here is making with the people he's talking to is that life isn't always simple and easy there are difficulties and one of them we face is that there is if we believe in god our father and jesus our savior and the holy spirit if we're believers in these things we're believers in things spiritual well there's an adverse side to that and that is the real presence of the devil the evil one satan prowling around, looking for us in a spiritual way, trying to lead us astray, undermine us, cause confusion or doubt in our minds and our hearts. And this verse is one of those verses which helps us to stop, take stock, assess the situation and then move on. Because we might easily get caught up in devilish things, such as not praying such as denying that we follow that we are followers of Jesus, such as getting drawn aside into other things instead of pursuing our Christian faith. It's very easy for those things to happen to us, isn't it? Especially during periods like lockdown, when things are difficult for us. So we really need to be on our guard and watch out what's going around us. Be self-controlled and alert, he says. So we have to exercise that ourselves. We can't just rely on somebody else telling us. We ourselves have got to be on the lookout, alert to what's going on around us. And we have to be self-disciplined, self-controlled enough to be able to take note of that and take some action. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy prowls around, roaring like looking for someone to devour. Not just to influence, not just to have a go at, but to devour. That's very strong, isn't it? We will get eaten up spiritually if we step away from the way of God the way of Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. If we step away from those things, we will become devoured by the world around us, which belongs to the evil one. It's a worthy ambition. May I be more determined to help and to be a Jesus person than to get Satan, uh, allow Satan to influence me and draw me aside. I need to exercise some self-control in doing this. Do you? I expect we all do at some time. Be self-controlled and alert and be on your guard. Watch out for things. And when you see them, take evasive action. Bye for now.